Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today and for a couple of days with different places I'm going to be visiting to make this video complete. I'm talking to you about the new digital Nomad visa that Colombia has finally come out with. It's for two years and briefly right now I'm just going to tell you that it's uh, app, uh, available for people from the US, US citizens, Canadians from the UK, and a list of countries that the, US, the Colombian government has set forth. And one of the benefits of getting this visa is that for two years without having to leave the country, you can live here and work remotely and all of that good stuff. And one of the places we're in here right now, this is Medellin. There are other places in the country that are very good. This is Poblado Avenue. This is called the Golden Mile, La Milla de Oro. And we're about to enter the mall here. That is a good thing for some of you digital nomads who sometimes want to work remotely from here. Let's go in. If you're a digital nomad and you like coffee, Juan Valdez, or you have good Wi-Fi, or you can have your own plan, uh, data phone plan. So let's go. The mall we're in right now, this is called Santa Fe Mall. It's a very big mall got a lot of stuff to do and we'll see a little view in just a moment wait a minute wait a minute they got slush puppies here remember the slush puppies from down south when i was a kid in south carolina slush puppies check this out check this out oh it's a big squid so this mall has a retractable roof it's small this mall is about 12 years old now 13 years old and it's got several levels and it's got a bowling alley it's got a movie theater complex let's go check that out i've seen a lot of foreigners here like myself from other countries asian european north america south america whatever africa so yeah this is a popular spot for foreigners to come to they got starbucks coffee here too mask mandate has been gone for a while now so you don't have to worry about that unless you want to wear a halloween mask on october 31st guys if you want to reminisce bowling days in the states you got it here spaceman eddie it is a bowling alley cool so this is the movie theater complex here it's called cine colombia it's like saying in the states uh whatever i forgot the chain over there so yeah so malls, malls are a thing here in Colombia, especially in Medellin. People love going to malls on the weekend, no joke. And I just wanted to show you that, but let's keep going on with the video about the digital nomad visa. So you guys are here, you leave the shopping center there, walk along the Golden Mile here towards Poblado Park, towards 10th Street, Calle 10. And it's all safe. And you got plenty of eateries along the way and another mall back that way which is Oviedo like the city in Spain and lots of hotels and there's some foreigners right there I think they're German or Austrian because I heard them speaking you got Starbucks right over there and the BMW dealer it's safe very safe during if it has the commodities or some of the conveniences back in the states you guys have or in Canada look got Papa John's pizza if you're Papa John's fans they got Domino's Mickey D's Burger King Pizza Hut, Hooters. So you guys are asking, what's the attraction? What's the hook and wheel? What's the advantage or the benefit of getting a two-year visa here in uh, Colombia? And you don't have to leave for two years. Stay straight for two years. I still haven't given you the information yet about what it is that you have to do to get this visa. But here's the attraction, the attractive. I mean, for about 2,000 euros, you can pay rent in Bogota for six months. Total, 2,000 euros, about $2,400. I don't know what it is exactly. I mean, not per month, for the whole six months. Or here in Medellin, uh, in this area too. Or in Envigado, which is a city next over from Medellin going south, in that direction. Or in Sabaneta, which is a town over from Envigado on this same road here. The weather's beautiful here. This is called the city of eternal spring. I mean, Colombia, I'm promoting Medellin with this whole digital visa, digital nomad visa thing. But you can go to Bogota if you like that better, or Cartagena, or Cali, 
or Santa Marta and all these places and even the coffee landscape the Eje Cafetero which is Manizales and Pereira in Armenia uh, there are a lot of co-working spaces being offered in these places like here like Medellin is the second most visited uh, city in Colombia by international travelers after Bogota it's Bogota, Medellin and then Cartagena Cartagena so uh, yeah that there's so many things guys transportation is cheap you see that bus right there to take that bus that comes from Sabaneta or Envigado to Medellin it's 2,850 pesos that's about 65 cents on the US dollar uh, a bus ride in Manhattan in New York City on the New York Metro system Metro Transit whatever they call it MTA Metro Transit Authority uh, $2.75 for a bus ride here you get four bus rides for the same price and groceries a friend Mike O'Neill was here back in January December January of this year December of last year and he paid like 250,000 pesos for groceries which is about $50 US approximately I mean the, the exchange rate varies right now the US dollar you get 4,700 pesos but about two months ago it was like 4,950 almost 5,000 pesos for a US dollar so it changes so he said for the same amount of groceries that he got here you would have to pay three times as much in the states or almost four depending so there's some information for you to keep in mind there's so many places in Colombia that, that this place offers if you're gonna live in Medellin for the uh, for uh, six months or seven months before going on to another destination as a di digital nomad with that visa then yo it's all good but if you're in Medellin and you want to stay the whole two years here cool no visa runs to the border straight for two years let's keep going did I forget to say that the people here in Antioquia, in Medellin, Sabaneta, Pigado, uh, you know, all of this, Oriente Antioqueño, Guarne, Rio Negro, whatever, Santa Fe de Antioquia, Jardin, Jericho, Jericho, whatever, people are so nice here in general. People are very friendly. Something that is not really happening these days back in the States or in other countries where people are, are so grumpy. They're like grumpy to the, to the end power. Now let me show you what street food is. You could get here at this Taqueria Guadalajara, the daily um, um, special, 17,000 pesos. Right now with that, with the dollar price, it's about $3.50. Or you can go for dollar tacos, 5,000 pesos for dollar tacos. They got vegan, they got chicken, they got beef, and whatever, they got nachos for 10,000 pesos, which is right under $2. And this is the place, Guadalajara, Taqueria Guadalajara. So you got all kinds of places. This is Poblado where a lot of foreigners come especially this area because this is near the Jerez Park area and we're just maybe five blocks away from it up that way now Poblado Park if you want to hang out with the locals and now with all the foreigners the locals about 20 to 35 years old they usually come here and hang out at Poblado Park right across from the San Jose Church right there what's up how you doing so this is just showing you what it is over here. Let's go show a little more up in the Provence area where we go up this way towards Jerez Park. Now one thing I've forgotten to say is that there is no daylight savings time here in Colombia. It's always the same time no matter what time of the year. And the sun normally it gets dark around 6.30 p.m. or so. It depends on the time of year. But that's around the same. It's not like in the States in the summertime where the sunlight and the sun lasts until 8 or 9, 9.30 p.m. or in Europe. This is not like that. So you always have the same thing all year round. And we're going up to 10th Street here, Calle 10, towards Provenza. I'm gonna skip Jerez Park because that's just not a place I really like because it just has degraded a lot. But I'm selling Medellin. You got other places to visit in Colombia. Like I said, Cali, Bogota, whatever, Cartagena. Uh, one thing about this street, people will be going up and down this street a lot, foreigners and everything be going, they'll be going to the metro, down all the way to the Poblado metro station. It's always transited up and down this way along 10th street. And I'm trying to get this stable, but hey, we work with what we can. Now, Jarris Park is right over there, but I just don't like going over there because uh, sometimes there are women that get really cranky because you're filming, you're vlogging, so you gotta be careful over there, unless something has changed in the last two months or so. I don't know. Well, I decided to venture into the park anyway. They did 
remodel this park it's remodeled now because about two or three months ago it was still closed off so it's been remodeled now but still the people that are normally working around here they're not out in force yet so i decided to do it i'm just laughing right now really laughing inside and on the outside i've had a couple of uh comments in the past <laughs> over the years uh, that some people just don't like uh of long vlogs and comments like oh you're making a long story you're making a long story out of it you should keep it short ah, i got i know youtubers that are doing 50 minute things one hour things one hour and 10 minute things whatever i'm doing what i can because i love it now i kid you not this area we're passing through here the Jarvis park area over there and these two blocks coming up from there until about Domino's Beach has gotten really sleazy in the last few years I don't like it and you'll see it some people come up to you offering you uh, weed blow it's crazy my advice is if you my advice is if you want to avoid the sleazy areas go to Laureles it's a much better area to be a digital nomad and a traveler it's it's cooler it's calmer it's safer it's cleaner or you could go to Envigado and live there and chill or the Sabaneta it's a different vibe it's more of Colombian tourism than foreigners like in this whole area here as you can see so the area I wanted to show you that you could come to and chill and it's better it's called Provenza it starts right here right off 10th street right a block up from Domino's Pizza and you could just come here and chill and there are a lot of places you could come and and it's super safe and much better than Jerez Park this is my recommendation Provenza at 34th street here and you got the Medellin beer factory so you could get your bearings straight right over there and taco veg taco veg right over there which is a vegetarian taco uh, food place anyhow let's do a little quick walk through here and you just get it it's still early in the in the afternoon here in the early almost evening it's only 5 35 p.m so just a quick walk on this little block right here and this is all like this for like three blocks in total and you'll love it if this is your cup of tea if it isn't your cup of tea then it isn't they got taquerias in terms of taco places you just walk past they got that nightclub here called teatro victoria victoria theater they got the jackie chan uh, kind of bar restaurant right there next to it with that uh, oriental vibe to it and this is a nightclub right here if you want to party or you just want to hang out here on the street tables and it's only 5 30 a lot of people are out already check out the deck code there like i said i'm selling medellin for those of you who want to do the digital nomad visa in colombia for two years and you could come here stay here for three months five months whatever it is however you like it or you could go to neighboring cities and live in Envigado, Sabaneta. this is another place right here so you see all of this this is all like this is pretty cool and all that and then it goes over there to the other block past the street over there and if you want to get the selfie over here you got the Medellin uh, sign right here and uh, in this area there are some offices where you could come and get the uh, tours to uh, the graffiti tour Comuna 13 or you want to go to Eje Cafetero Marizales Pereira uh, like four hours from here by bus and all that so yeah all of this here and that's it for today but of course this video is going to be longer but today with this dress later we'll see more about laureles and sabaneta and envigado soon i mean in the next clips hey what's up guys i want to show you this part manila this neighborhood is good near here in poblado if you want to stay here there are a lot of hostels and this little street right here is closed off just a little block with eateries and everything and a lot of hostels in the area and co-working spaces co-working places let me show you one in a moment but they got all this good stuff around here so the vibe here is more laid back if you don't want something different from Provence or Jerez Park and it's in walking distance too and you can just chill here at night and you can see some of it some of the places here and they got laundry services too all over this area it's like a four block radius going back in that area and yeah a lot and Los Patios check out Los Patios on booking.com or whatever they got their own website and this is co-working and co-living and little apartments you can rent or even uh, smaller ones or bigger ones and they got good prices check them out and here still selling this whole idea for of you another hostel here called Florentine that's the entrance right there and it's pretty chill and they got another little place there where people can just chill and it's safe it's pretty safe but just don't leave your phone on the table 
or your laptop if you're outside on, on like here because it might get snatched and on the motorcycle guy and they run away quickly now Sabaneta is accessible through Metro the managing Metro system and you get off here to Sabaneta Metro Station let's go so Sabaneta is a pretty cool place if you are considering living here as an expat or as a pensioner and this is the main park here the main square town square and you got Sitio Viejo that's a fonda meaning roadside bar or roadhouse bar but roads because it has that uh, feeling and it used to be a a, how, a home somebody's house but then I think the second floor and all of this is a business now the first floor of course so it's pretty cool if you are really considering living here in Sabaneta uh, because of the question would you live here would you be willing to live here would you live here and all kinds of nice places if you're a Catholic and you want to go to church and do your church thing there goes a small church right there a chapel it's a church and everything and you can hang out here people are very friendly very safe area and paisas people from Medellin people from Envigado love coming here I mean Medellin and Envigado are only a stone throw away by metro or by cab or by bus whichever way you want to get around and look at that nice chapel that church right here and all the tower blocks that I showed you at the beginning of the video are uh, right there and there are many all over the area and all of that hi how are you um yeah what's your name Sebastian oh Sebastian how are you let me uh, pause this for a moment so we're got getting off here at the Estadio Metro station this is where we got to go so we're got getting off here at the Estadio Metro station this is where we got to go so this is another area that is I'm going to show you what it looks like in the daytime here at Boulevard La 70 70th and this is daytime and then you get to see it the nighttime version in a little while on this video so this is a place another place I want to really show you guys to tell you if you really want to come here let me clean the screen so okay so if you do choose Medellin this is Boulevard La 70 and this is what it looks like at daytime today is a Sunday tomorrow is a public holiday Colombia has like about 18 or more public holidays in a year and most of them are thrown on a Sunday I mean on a Monday so it could be a three-day weekend and you got all these places here but later on it's about 5 30 p.m. right now and later on you'll see how it looks like in the dark and as you walk along this street here as a tenta from the metro station towards San Juan Avenue you'll see these things that sometimes they get a lot of people to go like party buses and whatever and you got a lot of uh, things you can buy here in terms of souvenirs this whole thing is like a tourist attraction for both domestic tourists and international and you got a lot of hotels like this one here hotel Plaza 70 so you got plenty of hotels to choose from all along this uh, street here that big that thing over there is a big hotel as you can see so if you want to get a taste of the local nightlife local nightlife it's all here better than better than poblado and all of that so you'll have salsa bars merengue cumbia vaginato everything cross over now if you guys want to listen to legitimate authentic vaginatos come to cacique right over there cacique vaginatos it's all good and uh be careful with beware of the scammers if you're gonna buy a tour package to guatape or something buy it at a kiosk or in an office don't buy it on the street at some little table because you might get scammed you might lose your money and this is san juan avenue right here that's san juan avenue that comes from downtown medellin where they have the there goes the party bus right there there goes one party bus right there they're already starting off the little party and my thing just went sideways with that party bus so when my camera went sideways this is all raw vlogging that's towards downtown and you see the mountain that's east towards like Rio Negro and El Retiro the towns in the city and that's west west towards Santa Fe de Antioquia in terms of the direction and we're keeping walking this way and then I'll show you in a little while the digital nomad hubs and restaurants in the Laureles La area now one thing I can tell you that on this avenue on this whole thing which is about a good 10 blocks 10 city blocks 10 street blocks all the way from the metro station to the University UPB, UPB 
uh, there's a lot of street food you will have a lot of options of street food in service of you know food carts on the street here on the sidewalk and then the nightclubs over here you'll see all of this later on more lit up at night la tienda is a good place if you want to have an authentic colombian experience with nightclub and food and all that stuff or la chismosa over there for the la chismosa so uh a lot of places around here and i'm going to show you a restaurant over here around the corner from mondongos over here where a lot of foreigners come digital nomads and everything to have good vegetarian food vegetarian food or salad i'm going to show you in just a second now you might be asking why is eddie uh, changing his clothing constantly with this video i've been doing this over a period of days i mean weeks so from mondongos you come up a half a block and you keep walking this way and you pass hotel oops hotel seven over here we're just passing it and calamaro here this restaurant and hotel siete says siete seven and the, of course it's closed right now because it's already closed and i mean it's closed on sundays today's sunday it's called salud pan it's right here next to hotel cabo de la vela next to this hotel and well if you want to check their out their information has their site information all that if you want to book a place here or stay here with that stuff so this is called salud pan this restaurant right next to that and it's a good place and they got wi-fi good bakery everything good stuff vegetarian food uh menu daily menu and uh even uh cold cuts veggie cold cuts that you can uh you know take back to your place if you're staying at some airbnb and you got a little fridge and a little kitchen to cook uh, you know something through booking.com and if you are really a digital nomad and whatever you got that building over there you can always check them out when you come here to medellin and they rent out apartments they're little little rooms and with good wi-fi super fast wi-fi i'm gonna go over there and i'm gonna show you what the place is called just in case you're interested so look at this sign it says change starts here this is a co-working co-living place and it's called indie studio yes i-n-d-i-e studio so y'all can google it and see uh, what their website is and for their information contact and that's what the place is and it's like little uh rooms and all that and you could do your co-working co-living from here now if you're into really if you're really into healthy food this is this other restaurant here called ina it's a restaurant it's, it's a plant-based food restaurant and you see all the greenery here it's only uh two blocks up or a block and a half up from salud pan that i just showed you and they have a daily special monday through saturday but i don't know about sundays now, I don't know if it's open on holidays, but it's all in your hands, as they say. And let's keep going, showing you some other places. And somebody over there was waving and everything, so it was pretty cool. I couldn't catch you now. So, okay, guys, let me tell you, even though it's a little windy, um, on 70 there, 70th Boulevard, Boulevard 70, 70th Boulevard, whatever they wanna, you want to call it. In Spanish, it's Boulevard La 70. Uh, towards the other side, it's San, the San Joaquin uh, neighborhood. Towards this side is the Laureles neighborhood or whatever this is called. And then Laureles over here. And I'm gonna show you some co-working spaces here between Laureles first park and Laureles second park plus restaurants that a lot of Colombians love to visit. And even some international travelers too and all. So it's a good thing with this two year digital nomad visa. No visa runs, it's visa run free. Two years straight. I've said it already like, I don't know how many times during this video, but it's, it's here. And there's a bar right here called Revolution Medellin Cafe. It came out as one of the cool digital nomad bars to come to when I did some research like a year and a half ago. So we just crossed over there. There's a nice cool restaurant, rooftop restaurant called Fidelina. It's very nice rooftop there, restaurant, third floor. They got this kitchen place here, right here. Restaurant, whatever they call it, a primitive kitchen. This is the first Laurelis Park right over here. You got a KFC over there and they got a Lavato. So this whole area has got a bunch of digital nomad cafes, co-working places, spaces, and all of that. There's one right over here, but it's probably closed. It looks like it might be open today. It's right over here. Yeah, it's closed right now, but it's it's called Semija Cafe and Co-working. Oh, it's it's open. It's, and it's got the rooftop up there, but the co-working place the space is closed today, Sunday. You know, that's Monday through Friday or Monday through Saturday. And then you got another cafe right over there that has that, that came out on that thing plus that restaurant il forno and there, there's a place over there that has a laundry 
There are a couple of laundry places here now that opened up because this area is getting more and more popular, more and trendier. It's coming onto the scene as a second option or as a, you know, as a different alternative to uh, Poblado in terms of Jerez Park and Provenza and Manila. So a lot of uh, travelers, backpackers, digital nomads, expats, whatever are choosing this area and you got that over there, Lavato Laundry and Brunch next to that Laureles Park Hotel and you got a bunch of restaurants lined up all the way over here. So let's keep on looking and let's keep cooking. You might be asking yourself the question, is this area safe? You know, I've heard so many things about Medellin being dangerous in Colombia. You know, it's all about where you go and if you're showing off, if you're walking around with a iPhone in your hand and just flashing it around, or if you look like you're dressing with gold and gold chains and gold bracelets, you know, just don't, don't stick out that much. Don't go giving people a, an idea to rob you. This area is pretty safe in general, but now we're totally safe. Look, they got a hotel here too called Semillas del Parque. A apartment hotel. It's like a combination of apartment and hotel. So you got a lot of uh, things there. And you got a bikeway and skateway here for people. I was walking on it by accident. And if you want some good Genovese cake, that thing right there is delicious. It's a chain of, of of a cake shop called Don Jacobo, Mr. Jacob. So they got all kinds of places, a lot of Mexican food, Guero, Guero, whatever. It's nice. You gotta be careful. A lot of people like to, some people like to run red lights, motorcyclists, some cab drivers, some cars. So don't think you got the right of way like in the States or some European countries that are, you know, people respect, uh, that respect pedestrians a lot. In this country, eh, <laughs> questionable in some areas and very questionable in others so be careful so when you're coming up this way keep going up towards all that like that that ab that way with all the tree lines up right there lined up oh, my, my 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 speaking my, i'm slurring you got all these restaurants trapani which is a chain as well of pasta and all you got this liquor shop place bar you got some mexican food right there behind me tacos al pastor here this one's called cuernavaca tequila I've made videos before. Guys, I'm going to leave a long playlist uh, at the end of this video so you can check out what other places are very interesting in this Medellin metropolitan area and some places that I've been to on the Colombian Caribbean coast just in case you're really interested in getting the two-year digital nomad visa to Colombia. And at least I can show you some of these places that I've been to in the past and recently. And this is another co-working place, Al Alma Coffee Roasters on the second floor, Al Alma to the soul. And they usually have a pretty good Wi-Fi connection, good speed. And you got all kinds of restaurants here and, and some co-working places along the way, some cafe, digital nomad cafe places. So yeah, let's keep looking for more. Quite frankly, I like this place a whole lot better. It's a whole lot safer, a whole lot cleaner than 10th Street there in Poblado in terms of Jerez Park and Provenza going up from the Poblado Metro Station. This place hasn't really come on the radar of all those uh, dirty-minded people or whatever you want to call them. You're probably asking yourself, or you guys are asking yourselves, why does Eddie know so much about Colombia in this area? I've been living here on and off for 24 years, well 24 years total, but not continuously. This is my third time living in Colombia. Been here for about a year and a half now. Wasn't the plan, but it happened. And then that's it. Let's keep going. There's a Starbucks right over there. If you guys are Starbucks addicts, addicted to Starbucks, it's right over there in the corner. This is Nutibara Avenue. Nutibara Avenue with this thing that goes between the first Laureles Park and the second one and you got some good restaurants here like Delirio or Romero or Milagros which is Mexican a lot of stuff and you got a couple of restaurants up that way like Public House, Taco House and whatnot Pac-Man over there something about Pac-Man I remember seeing it wait a minute I'm gonna go there so you guys can see it Pac-Man well Public House is like peach and beer and they play a lot of music in English a lot of rock classic rock current rock and whatever Public House caters more to the uh, foreigners and all that so let's keep going they're watching the football match right now some champions league or i don't know what 
Okay, so now what I was just making that sound is waka 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 waka. Check it out, it's a restaurant, it's called Game Over. It's a resto bar. Wow, and the theme is Pac Man, the cherry, the ghosts. Game over, baby! But it's not game over for me. We're just getting started and on YouTube, so keep following me. You don't have to subscribe. I don't really care about the subscription. What I do care about is that you guys are happy watching what I'm doing, what I'm giving you, and interacting with people and all of that, and just watching the videos and you're satisfied, you're happy, and now you're getting good information, good info. Waka, waka, waka. Well, uh, that didn't work. Oh, guys, just check out the entrance. It's a game over. You even got Crash Bandicoot, Mario Brothers, Mortal Kombat. Looks pretty cool. And they got a little thing there so you don't just go in. Pretty cool. And it's pet friendly. Pet friendly. And they got cameras inside. Just so you know. Pretty dope. Pretty cool. So I, I guess they had that thing up there, that, that, that tape, that thing, that whatever. So you just don't mosey on in without having... Uh, a reservation or just so they can make sure that no riffraff come in now if you're looking for some authentic indian food or i don't know how authentic it is it's not but they're close today so what is the india india's flavors right there here this is all our let's, let's keep going now this is the other place i was telling you it's called led zeppelin cafe cafe zeppelin excuse me not led zeppelin i just love Zepp led zeppelin cafe zeppelin it's a good uh, digital uh, nomad cafe so you can do your work and they got a good internet speed and it's pretty safe it's pretty cool and then you got these restaurants over here this restaurant if you love mexican food this place called guadalupe they got a, maybe two or three in the metropolitan area and usually like on a friday night or saturday night but today's sunday they have a line of people just lining up to go in and if you like burgers they got chef burger they got a couple of them all over the city chef burger if you like burgers and they're pretty famous and all of that it's not like a whole mess of them but it's what it is so guadalupe for mexican food if you want real good mexican food i don't know if it's authentic but it's good and then we got a place over here called la havana club in case you like if you like cuban food if you like cuban food and they play live music here even on a sunday like today when monday is a holiday and tomorrow's a holiday here in colombia so we got this and they got another place here with playing zero kilometer zero right here they're playing rock in English right there. I think they're playing Aerosmith. I could kind of hear Steven Tyler's voice there. Kind of uh, uh, unique. So this is a place here called Bo La Bodeguita Havana. So this is La Bodeguita Havana. They play live music here. And they say live music tonight. So it's still early right now. It's only like around 6 p.m. It gets dark here around about 6.30 p.m. every day of the year. There is no daylight savings time here. There is none of that stuff like in other places another good restaurant there's parmesano the second the second laurelis park is right over there parque laurelis segundo parque and we're gonna go this way and this is a hotel right here big one but right here on the first floor that's just a bakery shop so you got so many options guys for whatever i mean right now guys i look so such like such a white boy whatever i'm in shorts i got sneakers and everything in this t-shirt sticking out like a sore thumb and that's just that couple that just walked past by me but you didn't see them they're speaking in english the girl looks oriental american asian american or whatever and the guy like latino american born in the states or whatever we got a bk here so if you go down this way you got another place here for a laundromat where you can come and leave your laundry to get done and it's right over here in this building right over here so check it out in a moment next to the mexican food restaurant comida mexicana el df it's right here Su la ropa sucia se lava and happy it says that dirty clothes is washed at happy and that's called happy laundry right there and para ti wow that's the other day i had some a nice hershey's ice cream bar over there not over there in sabaneta you, you probably see it in this video i don't even remember if i if i recorded it so a lot of good stuff here well i'm just, just gonna sit down here for a moment while while it's still a little bit light and then in a moment we're gonna go back towards that sustenta and you're gonna be able to see what the nightlife looks like even on a sunday when monday's a holiday and i think they even open on sundays anyway they open like every day of the week a lot of those bars and whatever and discotheques uh, so yeah i'm just showing you everything anyway let's keep going well this is what the nightlife looks like in la 70 right now 
another place, La Tienda right here, pretty cool. I'm showing it to you at night, but it's still early, it's only about 7 p.m. Look at this place, Fonda La Chismo, and cheap tacos for 50 cent a taco. And there is a lot of street food going on here. This is one of the street food stalls. There's another food stall there, big one, street food. And there are more here. This is all La Setenta guys. So you want some good street food. You got all these places to choose from. But the ones where there are a lot of people ordering food is the, the ones that are good. Those are the ones that are good. But right now it's still early. So it's not like people are gonna be eating this early at 7 p.m. Now this place has a lot of people lining up for the food. So it's gotta be good. Los propios tacos. That's a taco thing. So you know it's gotta be good. Look for it. She's a beautiful, her name is Sombra. Hi. Sombra Shadow, hey baby girl. I'm gonna give her some money because she wants some money for her dog food. Beautiful. So we got Joe for the whole world, para todo el mundo, that place. And we got El Cacique right here, the Vaginato place. And these are the girls that work there, beautiful gals. So this is what it looks like at night in this area as well, two blocks away from the metro station. There goes one of the party buses getting ready to go in a little while. A lot of street food, empanadas, meat pies, chicken pies. And they're all frying right now. Guacamole and picante. So guys, I hope to be able to bring you Envigado in the next clip in this video. It's only about 7.15 here, so that's why you don't see a lot of people, but enough people are coming right now. So I'll leave you with this before we hit Envigado. So this is where we started this little part and we're ending it here, but we're going to the Envigado segment next. the GoPro doesn't work super well at night but anyway you can see a little bit of the light one thing I gotta tell you guys is use Uber or DD as your apps for taking cabs because the yellow cabs might be a little sketchy once in a while and if you want to be safe DD or Uber If you guys are looking for a top-notch hospital, Pablo Tobon Uribe here in the Robledo area of Medellin is your best option. They even have an international wing for uh, for international patients. Wing, basically. Here in Robledo area and that's it on this part. I wasn't really clear. They have the best oncologist for cancer. They have the best for so many other things and top-notch equipment for MRIs and everything and this is such a darn good hospital it's considered the best one in Colombia and one of the best in South America and uh, what else can I tell you I mean it's such a good hospital that the food court they have a food court here inside there with Subway, Vinagreta, other restaurants like so many like if you were at a mall I mean what kind of hospital normally has that now if you guys want to get around the metro system and the transportation system here in Medellin and in this valley of Aburra which has other cities in it you can get a green card like this or it's a gray one I got one because I have a citizenship here and this will be good you reload and you can use the metro and with certain uh, like those green buses or white buses in certain parts of the city or other parts of the other cities like in Vigal and whatever and it's easier and you don't have to wait in line just get one at the metro uh, ticket booth counter over here I'll show you in a minute Sunday bikeway Monday it's a holiday here too so Monday bikeway jogging way this is in the north of the city here at the Caribe metro station the north bus terminal is right behind us here so if you need to go to Santa Fe de Antioquia or you want to go to Guatape, Peñon or whatever other little towns that you want to visit you take a bus here so you can avoid these lines if you get it the first time at the ticket booth here and that's it and always reload have good money on it and that way you just come like I'm gonna do here and you swipe it and BAM I go in and that's it it is a very good system clean metro system and they even have at least each station usually an electronic board like this display telling you how long the next train is and where 
what uh, cable cars are working and what the tramway is working or not. The green light means it's in green state, it's working, all that. And just a glimpse of what the metro looks like. This is going towards southbound, line A. This only has two lines, line A and line B. And this is it. And this is what it looks like on the inside. And you can even carry your bike if you have a bike, like my friend Rob Mills, who travels with his bike around the world. This right here is the interchange to line B. If you want to go to the uh, graffiti tour, Medellin graffiti tour in San Javier and all of that, this is where you get off and you go upstairs and you take line B. This is called the San Antonio Metro Station here. I am not promoting that dude, Pablo Escobar. I'm just telling you the history in case you are wondering and they have the whole mural there, the, the thing and the sculpture still is there that was, that was, uh, that received the blast and whatever. Now that, there in the distance with all the high-rise towers, that's El Poblado area of Medellin. That's where a lot of the backpackers and travelers and digital nomads normally go to. Check out that beautiful church here by the Exposiciones Metro Station in the San Diego shopping center over there. So I was telling you, that's where Poblado is, all the way over there. We're starting to descend here towards Industriales Metro Station, but that's where most of the middle class and upper class live in Medellin, in that area. I just love doing this, being able to share things with you guys. Those of you who are interested in doing this kind of stuff. You know, all my travel videos and the information I give. Food, food vlogs to vegetarian, because I am a vegetarian. Now this next area right here is Ciudad del Rio. And there's a place here called Mercados del Rio right over there. A lot of restaurants, even some Indian food restaurants there. And in Ciudad del Rio, if you want to see Indians playing cricket, you go to the Museum of Modern Art of Medellin, somewhere over there, the Ciudad del Rio, the city river, river city, whatever you want to translate it as. And they got good restaurants and everything there, some good hotels, a lot of medical facilities and dental facilities and everything. Ciudad del Rio is being built up and you got tower blocks for apartments behind it in case you want to invest and live here. The Indians play cricket there on Sundays, on Sundays, usually. This, this video is for digital nomads. This Monterey Mall right here, this thing right by the Poblado Metro Station, it's a tech mall. So if you need your laptop repaired or your cell phone repaired, maintenance, whatever, need to buy accessories for your cameras, or if you're a travel vlogger too, as well as a digital nomad, you can get everything there in terms of electronics. SIM cards, everything memory cards for your cameras, all of that here at the Poblado Metro Station. I mean, not at the Poblado Metro Station, there at the Monterey Tech Mall. Now, if you guys want to learn Spanish while you're here in Medellin, if you're going to stay here for six months, there are Spanish schools, like in the Laurelis area. Uh, there's a Spanish school there, remember I saw one or two. Uh, there's a Span there are about three or four more, like more Spanish schools in the Manila, Poblado area, Manila and Provenza areas. If you want to learn Spanish, take advantage of that. If you want to come to Eafit University, they have a language center there. They also offer Spanish classes for foreigners who are living here for a while. So think about that. Improve your Spanish. You want to be able to communicate with the locals and understand the culture. A lot of people don't really speak English. Really, you'll find that out that a lot of people in this country do not speak English. They're going to say, no speaking English. They probably say like this to you, parce, no hablo nada de inglés. That's like, yo, bro. I don't speak any English. <sighs> that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is the Viva Envigado Shopping Center. Considered one of the biggest, if not the biggest, in all of South America. They got a movie theater, they got H&M, they got food courts, they even got a Ferris wheel. A little kitty park up there, amusement park. You can see the Ferris wheel right over there, probably. And it's even got co working spaces for digital nomads. They're even building an IKEA here at the Viva and they got more. IKEA is coming. Main 
Town Square, right over there. And if you go down towards Medellin on the avenue, about seven or eight blocks down, you can come to Calle La Buena Mesa if you want some good restaurants, pedestrian sidewalk, a lot of foreigners. I mean, some foreigners are starting to go there and good restaurants. And they got good coffee shops here in this area too, on the pedestrian street here behind us. This is the whole park. And a lot of, a lot of pensioners hang out here, coming pensioners. They have the church right there. And if you guys want, there's a place called the Ecological Park El Salado, and you can go hiking in that area. And uh, there, I'll leave a video in the playlist about that place too, if you are hiking uh, adventurers. So guys, that's it about uh, talking to you about Colombia's two-year digital nomad visa. And I'm telling you, one of the good choices is the Medellin metro area. I mean, you don't have to stay here for the full two years unless you really like it. You can stay here for four months, three months. Then you know, go to other places in Colombia, like Cartagena, or Santa Marta, Bogota, Cali, or Manizales Pereira, or Bucaramanga, or Popayán, wherever it is you fancy going. There are so many places in Colombia for you to discover. San Andreas Island, everything. So if you like this video and everything, uh, just share it with other people. That's about the only thing I want to say about that. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. And remember the playlist is probably here right now. While I'm ending this video. So just remember conclusion. The two year digital nomad visa. You have to be working for a company that is not Colombian. And you have to show proof that they're paying you $685 approximately per month. And you have to have traveler's insurance. Health, traveler's health insurance. And uh, a valid passport that's valid at least, I think, for about a year, at least minimum, when you are coming this way. So that's all for now. Like the Pac-Man, waka 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 waka.